Hello, hello. Well, it's nice and cosy in here. Yes, got the heater on, chilling out, relaxing, and I'm going to do some TV hunting. Yes. And it will be a little bit of a late night tonight for bed, but I've got the alarm set to get me up on time for tomorrow. So all is good there. And what I heard on the news today, um, I watched a new, uh, on YouTube, um, a man in Victoria in sunshine got a knife and tried to make an attempt to stab people, but it never eventuated because he got slammed down hard to the ground. Knife was taken off him. A New Zealander boys knocked this man down. And I think there was one other Turkish male. Yeah did a very good job good on you lads that's what i'm seeing you see that's what i was talking about before you got to be aware of your surroundings and lucky these people were because if they weren't things would have ended up completely different someone would have been severely injured no one was hurt all thanks to people being aware of their surroundings and keeping an eye out and showing no fear and slamming that individual down hard into the marble floor yeah, it happened in a shopping mall in Sunshine here in Victoria. you just got to be careful, people, you know. Keep your wits about you, you know. It doesn't mean you have to live in fear and you're too scared to go out and do your shopping and all that. Just be 100% aware of what's going on around you. And if you see anyone suspicious, keep a close eye on them, even follow them a bit. And then as soon as you notice... Their hand going in the pocket and you notice something coming out, that's when you just dive on them. Show no fear. Because it's best to get them when they're least expected. And uh, lucky nobody got hurt. And all thanks to those people who showed no fear and knocked him down. Apparently it was a big chef's knife. So very lucky indeed that these people were aware of what was going on. And they were able to stop him before he seriously injured anybody. So, yeah. So he's been arrested and charged now. So, some middle-aged dude. I think he was Indian or something, or Muslim, something like that. So, oh well. What do you do with people like that who, you know, are sick and tired of their own personal lives? They want to just lash out and take it out on innocent people that had nothing to do with this person's issues. You know, even if they've got mental health issues or not, it doesn't matter. The same rule applies for everybody. You've got no right to hurt individuals. If you're not happy, you speak up. You say, I'm not happy with my life. Go and seek some professional help. If you're not happy, don't take it out on other people. Innocent people had nothing to do with you. You know, don't do that. You have no right to do that. But no. They do it. And poor Bishop now has lost an eye. As a result of what happened to him, he's lost an eye. People need to, you know, calm the heck down. But no. You know, got to have your wits about you. Let me tell you that. It's terrible. It's not good when these sort of things happen, you know. Not good at all. Now, I've got a weapon that I can carry with me in case anything does happen. It's one of these batons. You might have seen it. If you've seen the movie, um, uh, not movie, TV series called Crazy Head, they carry these little batten things that slide out with one swing. So you go like this, you swing, and it, it's a metal rod. I've got one of those. Now, I advise, you know, you've got to have some form of protection on you so that just in case some other nutter with a knife comes out again, you can use it against them, you know? And that really hurts. You whack them in the hand hard with that. That knife will drop. So, you know, you, you know you've got, some people have to have some form of protection to protect themselves and to protect others with in a situation similar to what happened today in Victoria. Like, come on. You know? People should have that right to protect people themselves as well as others in a situation like that. See, one of those batten thingos would have come handy.
but actually you know in victoria every single shopping mall even the small ones should be guarded by heavy security guards all day until closing time of that shopping mall you know like no excuses there it should be done all all around victoria including your nightclubs and everything the whole fucking nine yards it should be, you know. I know it's going to cost the companies money to hire security guards who have batons like that, you know, and stun guns and stuff like that. You don't need to actually have a gun gun, but the stun gun and a baton, something similar to what I've said, would be perfect. Because really that's all you need. You know? Hang on a second. My one's packed away. But, you know, if I ever do sense that something's up, I will have to use it. You know? How do you, you know, how do you protect yourselves from people like this? You have to fight. You have to fight for your life, you know? You have to bulldoze that person down and get the weapon off them. You know, I'm very lucky, very, very lucky that nobody got hurt in that mall in sunshine. Very, very lucky indeed. Hang on. I'm going to terribly put the phone down. I've got to get this ashtray over here next to me. Yeah. Got to do what you got to do. And you've got to protect yourself and others out there, you know? I'm very proud of those men. They did a very good job. Good o's to them. <laughs> he did not expect that, let me tell you. <laughs> he got slammed down. Hard knocks right to the ground. Oh, well. Boy, oh boy. Gotta be careful, eh? Alrighty, guys. I'll let you guys go. And enjoy your night tonight. Bye for now.